Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I've got another pedal video for you today and I also have another DIY video, it's one and the same. And I'd like to show you the result here. This is the Quaverado from Zeppelin Design Labs and it's a DIY tremolo pedal. And it is just super cool. We're gonna get into some sound samples and stuff in a bit. Um, and I have to say, I've built quite a few uh, DIY pedals or DIY projects, you know, noise synths and things like that. The instructions that Zeppelin is putting out are the best instructions I think I've ever seen. Their instructions are fantastic. I wouldn't call it a complicated build, but it's 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 certainly not the easiest, but it's certainly not the hardest either. So um, if, you, if, if you're new to building, you might wanna try an easier project first, but if you've done a couple projects, I don't think you'll have any trouble with it at all. Like pretty much any other build, you start off with the PCB and you populate the resistors and the diodes first, um, get those in there, and then you move on to your capacitors um, and you just start to populate the board, right? Um, one thing that was interesting about this is it uses Vactrols or optocouplers, as some people like to call them. Um, it uses two of those inside the circuit and they actually have you build the optocouplers. So instead of giving you a completed Vactrol, they just give you the LDR and the LED and you build it yourself, which I thought was actually super cool. Um, you know, you move up to the ICs, trim pots, dip switches, jacks, pots, and then you've got it ready to go. And so um, then you, of course, put the box together and uh, it just comes with the box here. And this is just a, um, a, a decal that you put on the top of the box along with the one here on the back. So it comes with those as well. And uh, then you just mount the board into the box and uh, solder up those um, main foot switches here. And that's pretty much it. So another little tidbit here, Zeppelin has great, out, absolutely outstanding support. Um, when I got finished, I powered it up tested everything out and all the functions seemed to work, but the rate, rate knob was doing a really weird response where it was like jumping. And I was like, that doesn't seem right. So I went to their forums, op you know, opened up, well, first I checked their troubleshooting guide because they also give you a troubleshooting guide and that, that uh, particular scenario wasn't covered. So I went to their forums, uh, posted a topic and very quickly, I got a response from Zeppelin Design Labs and we started doing some methodical troubleshooting. They had me meter a few things and it turns out it was a sloppy solder joint that I did where um, coming off the rate pot, it was actually, um, the chunk of solder was actually trying to involve another resistor in the circuit. Whoops, I usually pride myself on my soldering, but <laughs> I slopped it. So um, again, you can't beat good support after the sale. And so I would really recommend Zeppelin Design Labs. But you know what? You don't want to hear me keep talking about this thing. You want to hear what it sounds like, right? So let's do that. Okay, so next let's do a few sound samples with this thing so you guys can hear it. Now, first thing I'd like to point out is there is kind of a little hidden uh, effect in there in that um, it has a volume knob and unity volume or unity gain happens like before you even get to the halfway point on the volume sweep. So that means it's also a boost pedal. So if you turn the depth control all the way down and you kick the pedal on, you won't get any of the tremolo effect but you will get a boost. So you can also use this as a boost pedal if you want. But of course its main job is to be a tremolo pedal. Now, what is a tremolo pedal? Well, you probably have heard of a tremolo like on a Stratocaster guitar and you know you use it to change the pitch. Well, that's actually, Fender got that wrong. That's actually a vibrato because vibrato means a change in pitch where tremolo or tremolo means a change in volume. And what's really funny is Fender later uh, released some amps that had a vibrato circuit built into it or so they, they labeled it, but it was actually a volume uh, control or you know, a volume modulation. So technically it was a tremolo circuit. So Fender got that way wrong, which is why so many people get confused. But anyway, a tremolo is a volume effect. So what happens inside the pedal, if you're curious, the input signal comes in, it splits or it doubles or however you want to think of it, malts. 
and one side goes to a high pass filter, one side goes to a low pass filter. And both of those filters are modulated by some sort of internal low frequency oscillator that's going to modulate for volume or amplitude. So if you want to break this down to what it is, tremolo is amplitude modulation, where vibrato is frequency modulation. Anyway, there is a harmonic tremolo and a standard tremolo. The difference is the high pass, low pass filter modulation and a standard tremolo is happening in phase. In other words, they're both being modulated the same way. In a harmonic tremolo, they happen out of phase. So what that means is the low frequencies are modulated, then the high, then the low, then the high, then the low, then the high. So the difference is a harmonic tremolo gives you more of like a warbly pitch thing, which is really kind of desirable. It's a little more of a subtle effect, whereas a standard tremolo gives you that really hardcore pulsing chop, 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 chop kind of effect. So one of the ways that I think this pedal shines is it has a shape control. And what that's doing is it's controlling the wave shape of the internal low frequency oscillator that's doing the modulation. Now, if that sounds like gibberish to you, don't really worry about that. But here's what you need to know. You have a sine wave and then four other shapes. And the sine wave is gonna be very smooth, so it's gonna do a very smooth oscillation. And then you have a ramp and saw, which one is going to do a, a very gradual up and then a quick down. And the other is gonna do a quick up and a very gradual down. So they're kind of inverses of each other. You have a triangle wave, which is going to be very similar to the sine. And then you have a square wave, which is just gonna be all on, all off, all on, all off. So you're gonna get a very choppy sort of modulation sound here. So by changing that wave shape, you, without changing any of the other controls, you can completely change the sound of the pedal. <laughs> So additionally, with the rate, it has some really cool stuff. So the rate knob is obviously gonna change the rate of that modulation oscillator, but then it also has the multiplier where you can, it will also change the rate, um, but it'll change it relatively. So if, if you had something that was, that was uh, locked in at like 100 BPM, you went to a different ratio, you might be going to 50 BPM or 200 BPM or whatever, but it's still gonna be in time, right? Um, whereas turning the rate knob is going to change the, the kind of the core time. Uh, but additionally, it's got a tap tempo. So if you were like jamming with some people and you had a drum beat going, you could just tap into that drum beat and your trem would be synced right up to that drum beat. So that's a really cool feature and that does override. So if you've got it on a really slow uh, rate setting and you just tap in something really fast, it's gonna override and it's gonna go right to that fast setting. So very cool feature that they give you. And um, this thing is just shaping up to be the ultimate tremolo pedal. <laughs> And finally, it has a toggle mode or an, a momentary mode. And so toggle mode is what you've been seeing. It's where you click the on and it's on, you know, and then you click it again and it's off, just like most pedals. But also has a, a momentary mode where it's only on when you touch that foot switch. So like if you were doing something, I don't know, you're doing some little riff and then you wanted to get that wah, 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 wah kind of thing at the end, you could set it for a really deep modulation and then just hit the pedal when you want that, that modulation and let it go. So another cool feature that a lot of tremolo pedals do not have. Okay, so there you have it, folks. That was a quick overview and some sounds on the Quaverado from Zeppelin Design Labs. Now, there are a lot of different tremolo pedals on the market right now, if that's something you're interested in. 
And you know, there are always those kind of outlier budget models that tend to be quite a bit cheaper, but most of them, when you get into the big brands, they're gonna run you about 150 to 300, like that range. This kit is $99 and you can buy it from zeppelindesignlabs.com. So if you're handy, you can build this badass tremolo pedal for 99 bucks. I mean, it's pretty awesome, guys. So check out Zeppelin Design Labs. They've got some other stuff too that, that you might like. But uh, again, A plus to them for their product, their documentation, and their support. If you like what I do on this channel, guys, I would really appreciate it if you go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll be back soon with another video.